Hey everybody, it's Jessie J. I'm here to share with you my top 10 things of 2013. Starting off at number 10. Last year, I had the opportunity to play at a tribute for the firefighters. It was a really special and heartwarming event we performed in Phoenix, Arizona. And to me, it was very special because I could feel the love in the room as well as so many emotions. Um, during the event, the firefighters' families were there and we were playing for them. And it was just really special because at that time, I felt like music was really used to lift their souls. So here are the pictures from the event. Number nine, the NAMM show. In Los Angeles every year, the music industry's biggest party happens. Number eight. This year I toured with Jonathan Fritzen and Michael Lington. We played at the Las Vegas Jazz Festival, Phoenix Jazz Festival, and San Diego Jazz Festival. And for me, it was a special time because they're really great guys, wonderful musicians, and the hang was the best part. Going to dinner before and after rehearsals and then driving to Las Vegas. We just had an amazing time together and uh, I was so happy to work with them. Number seven, this year I was invited to perform at the Kuala Lumpur University in Malaysia at the Jazz Festival. So it was very exciting for me because I have never been to Malaysia. I really enjoyed the warm hospitality and the people were so beautiful and gracious to us. Thank you for having us, we hope to come back soon. Number six, this year, at the end of the year, for Dia de los Muertos, I went to Mexico with my dad to celebrate Day of the Dead. And it was really exciting for me because my dad is Mexican. He was born in Sinaloa. And I got to see a lot of the culture and I saw the, um, the cemeteries. It's very much a celebration of the people more than a mourning of the loss. So to me, it was really a different viewpoint. And I in love going to Mexico. So it was just great to see everyone again. Number five, I got a chance to perform on American Idol this year as well as The Voice with my friends. And the musicians that perform in the live band are just world class musicians, wonderful people. So I felt really blessed to be able to perform with them again. Number four, my fourth favorite thing from last year is Jazz in the Schools. Earlier in the year, for Black History Month, I had the opportunity to go to a lot of schools in Los Angeles with my friends, and we performed live jazz concerts for students, elementary kids and middle school students. We taught them about jazz, about, you know, from the very beginning of the blues all the way until now. And for me, it was a very valuable experience because I remember being little and wanting to learn more about jazz. So I feel, it feels really good to give back to the next generation. Number three. I had a really fun time playing at the Pizza Express again. It's my favorite jazz club in London and it's almost been an annual thing now for maybe four or five years. And uh, it's a really great club. I love the people that work there and the fans are so much fun. And it's so historic being in London. And for me, it was a blast because it was right before my CD came out and I got to see everybody and just celebrate with them. Number two, my second favorite thing for this year is my CD release parties in San Diego and Los Angeles. We had two parties to celebrate second chances. And for me, it was really special because my friends were there, like Pat Prescott from The Wave, as well as my friends in San Diego, like Kelly Cole, and um, The Pains. Everyone was there to celebrate the music. A lot of musicians came to sit in, the people that recorded the music with us. So that was a huge highlight for me. And the number one thing that happened in 2013 for me was the release of my fourth studio album, Second Chances. 
and it was a big stepping stone for me because this is my first time working as a producer. So I got to select all of the musicians, I got to select the co-writers and the other people that I work with as well as the co-producers, and I had a chance to work with some of my really good friends in the industry like Jeff Lorber. I met Jimmy Haslip working with Jeff Lorber and we did some stuff together. And also Johnny Britt, Norman Brown, and then uh, Joe Sample and I wrote a piece together for the new album. So it's just been a really wonderful year. I'm so happy to be playing music and I wish you guys to have a very successful 2014. Wishing you the best always. I love you a lot. Bye.